that's the real work time. When an eagle is trying to fly high, eagles fly as far as 50,000 feet above the sea level. But in the process of flying to that height, it will start by mounting. It's a lot of work to be doing like this. But there is a height eagles get to that eagles don't need to do like this again. He just stretch his wings and soar and enjoy the speed of the wind. You are not there to soar. If you are not in your season of soaring, you better mount. You know why eagle will mount to that height? Because at that height, nothing can obstruct his movement again. Stop eating your dinner as breakfast. Invest into what you are doing. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you're a banker here, your shirt tie suit is part of your tool. Am I correct? So don't fill your wardrobe with jeans and t-shirts because you like it. And you now have a few of that to be. And you are now dressing like a village headmaster to bank. You think when there is a recommendation to meet with president, they said there are some staff that will go and represent our bank to meet. You think they will appoint you? They will not appoint you because you are dressing like a village headmaster. I have a son who was uh, a pastor. Who is a pastor? At the early part of his pastoral work, he joined Winners Chapel. And uh, we were together in, on campus. So he complained to me one day. He came from the north to Lagos. He said, Pastor, I don't know what is, you need to pray for me. They're always posting me to village. They're always posting me to, and the village are far, far uh, border, border village. The one that is close to Nijay, Chad. He said, they're always posting me to the village, Pastor. He said, I don't know why. He said, please be praying for me. me to, they should post me to city too. I said, you look like a village pastor. You know me, I, I, told, I said, the real truth is that this way you are combining the colors. If I am the GO2, I will not post. Because if I post it to a city, the church number will drop. Invest into your work. Know the things that are your tools. When something is a tool, give it utmost priority. Give it what? Utmost priority. Acquiring more skill is part of the tool. Give it utmost priority. I actually watched this man in buying, buying and buying. Then when the thing begins to soar, that's where you begin to enjoy. Somebody is begin, going to begin to soar. You didn't say amen. Somebody here, with, you see, you are still mounting. God will give you grace to keep mounting. But in a short time to come, you will soar. The problem of many business people in Nigeria is that we eat all. He said the foolish man Spend that it. We make profit of 100,000. We say it's my money. We eat all. We eat all. So when there are crises, there is no backup. When there are emergencies, there is no backup. When there is a need to, to maintain an equipment, there is no backup. When there is a need to change equipment, there is no backup. When, when there is a need, to, look, what is important must take your attention, must catch your attention. Put first thing what? First. First thing must be first. If you really want to make progress in 2023, first thing must be first. Sit down and make, calculate the cost. This business I'm doing, this life I'm living, what are the most important things to me? What are the things that are critical to my growth? What are the things that are critical to my progress? You, like, you write them down one after the other and you give it utmost priority. May God give us wisdom. Yeah. Utmost priority to the point where you know. I remember, you see, you, there is nothing that should be too much to put into what you are doing. Because it is what you are doing that will feed you. Put food on your table, put clothes in your wardrobe, put peace in your heart, pay your children's school fees. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. There are equipments that will reduce your stress. There are equipments that will make your work come out more beautifully. There are equipments that will make your job more, you become more productive in your work. Everything you need to be the best, put it down. Lay it down. Invest into it. If you have to drink gari 
for some time. Huh? To be able to do it. Do it. It's worth it. Because at the end of the day, you won't drink gari for too long. But if you eat your harvest, ah, we sure you are not going to drink gari eventually. Some people, the problem they have is that their business is running well now. In another few years' time, the business can't run well because the business can't compete with, like I told you, the marketplace is competitive. It can't compete again because when it was supposed to change those tools, it didn't change them. Then everything will slow down. You won't be grounded. Amen. You didn't say amen to that prayer. Amen. Your destiny will not be grounded. Amen. You are not saying amen to that. Amen. Imagine a, a, an accountant who refused to upgrade himself and update himself to go for, you know now, accounting is more of software. Huh? It's more of software now. Instead of him to upgrade himself and go and learn how to use some of those softwares and he doesn't know how to use them, yet he wants a job in a multinational company. Who will hire him? Nobody. Say because I'm a child of God. Ladies and gentlemen, the children of God in the Bible that are examples to us, they were, they were on top of their game. Daniel was found ten times better than his equal. Ten times better. Abraham was... Every ad, 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 ad example we have in the scriptures, they were in front of their game. They were top of their game. Are you following me? Always see yourself as in the forefront. You may be at the back. Your beginning might be small. Your later hand shall greatly increase. Stretch yourself. My own father in the ministry told me many years ago, and that's what I'm doing, and he's helping me. He said, Tunde, I said, sir. He said, do you want to become a big elephant? I said, yes, sir. He said, do what the big elephants are doing. Eat what the big elephants are eating. He said, don't say, when I become a big elephant, I will start eating what they are eating. I will start doing what they are doing. He said, you can't become a big elephant like that. He said, the only way to become a big elephant is to eat what they eat, do what they do, then you too will become a big elephant. And I sat down and I thought about it and I saw that it's true. And I have worked with this for the past 25 years. And I've seen it work. That... Don't compare yourself with the backbenchers. You are not a backbencher. You are the head, you are not the tail. You are both, you are not beneath. See what he said. He said, put yourself a step ahead. See yourself there. That's how you can get there. Look at your field, area of assignment. Ask yourself, who are the first best three? Huh? Those are your mates. Huh? Those are the people. When I just married my wife, every time I want to talk to her, I'll say, look at Mama Deboye. I'll say, look at her. You know, I'll be giving names of people. Look at Mama Felix Adejuma. Look at Pastor Nomti. One day she said, ah, you, are not, you will not even allow me to grow. You are ready? That's how to stretch. See yourself as a big elephant and eat what the big elephant eats. Then you'll be there. Our church started using billboard as far back as more than 15 years ago. More than... More than 15 years ago. The billboard you see in front of this church that is front and back is 1.2 million every year. I'm not talking about the sticker, just the renter to the is 600,000, 600,000. Somebody say you are wasting money. Who says so? We're not. It's an investment. It is your level of coverage that will determine your level of patronage. You can't spend money on advertisement. Then you can't enjoy big patronage. You, are, you know some people are very stingy to do advertisement. You say, Esha, 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 Esha. You see, a bishop told me many years ago, he said, the bigger your coverage, the bigger your patronage. What stops you from going on TV now? What stops you from buying slots on radio and talk about what you do and drop your address? What stops you? What are the big people doing that you are not doing? Start doing them. Are you following me? You may not be able to spend billions of naira on advert like Coca-Cola. Spend the one you can spend. Hello? Is this making sense to anybody? This is very important too. Few, two years ago, DSTV approached our church. I'm going to round off now. And said, we should give them our videos. And that they were going to play it for one week for free. That we should give them some of our services. They were going to play it during the Easter time for free. 
and we sent our videos to them. And I know DSTV because a friend of mine was on DSTV some years back and he told me that when he sent his video for the first time, they told him that he cannot play their video. He said, why? They said they, don't, they can't use, they can't, the, the production is too low, that they have a standard. He said they visited their church and told them they should change all their cameras, all their equipments, and mixers, sound, everything, visual. They had to upgrade. And when they upgraded, they now started collecting their videos. So when they said we should send our videos, I told my people this is an exam for us. Let's see if they will reject it. If they reject it, then we need to upgrade. We sent our videos. It, not one was rejected. They, they've called us again for this Easter. Watch Hallelujah channel. They ask us for videos. We give them almost 70 something videos. They are going to be playing all for free. Do you know how many millions of Naira we're getting for free? Because we decided to invest into media, huh? invest into lightning, invest into, and they saw that the production was, if no matter the anointing, Kokuma Jidi Dembi, Tio Basi, I'm sorry, I'm turning to you. Even if the dead is rising up here, if the quality is not strong enough, they will collect it. I prophesy. Whatever hell is doing to put you at the back will fail. You are a frontliner. I command you remain in the front. Steps you need to take to put yourself in the front and remain there. Begin to take those steps. I declare the sacrifices you need to make into expansion, into your business. Receive grace to do those, to make your sacrifice. I decree and declare you won't eat your harvest. You won't eat all your harvest. Some of you here, this message is taking you to the next level. You are not saying amen properly. If your laptop is your office, let it be a good laptop. Not the one we have to hit before it will start. It must be a good what? Laptop. Not the one that will be re removing the battery, will be removing the battery. No, no, no. It has to be once you press it, you are working. Am I correct? If your phone is your office, it must be a good phone. It is share any. If you are a tailor like my son here, you have to be a correct machine that can sew well. Not the one that will sew. You want to sew straight line. It's really like this. It's really like this. You are a caterer. What you have, you must have equipment. Having equipment is key. You, you must also have the skill to operate the equipment. Are you following me? Invest. Invest so much into your work that when your competitors or contemporaries come near you, they will bow. They will say, wow. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Do you know people, a pastor came from UK, lead. He was watching us on Facebook, on YouTube. He said, I grew up in Nigeria. The next time I go to Nigeria, I have to see this church. He said, I can't believe what I was saying was in Nigeria. Give it your best shot. You may not be, you see, it may not be everything. Look, even us, we are not doing everything we want to do yet. If I tell you, my, if I tell you what is in our vision, if you drop a billion naira seed here now, one billion naira seed in this church now, give us one week. By where is this service? <laughs> One billion naira. That's to tell you the kind of plans we have. Have a big plan. Take it step by step. You can't do everything at a time. But make sure you are making progress. Make sure you are moving forward. Are you hearing me? When it's time to change the cutting, change the cutting. When it's time to paint, paint. Huh? When it's time to change your uh, complimentary card, change it. When it's time to, uh, uh, to, to take your advertisement to another level, go ahead. Everything you put into your work is a seed. It will come back to you. Stand up on your feet. I'd like you to pray this prayer and say, Lord, help me to apply this principle. I've moved around. I've been at this level for too long. It's time for me to advance. It is time for me to advance. Pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. It is time for me to advance. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Let me round off with this statement that changed my life many years ago. I had it from someone. This man said, if God is preparing a place for us, 
we have to be prepared for the place. If God is preparing what? A place for you. You have to be prepared for the place. If you're a career person here, if God is preparing the top for you, you have to be ready for the top. You have to do all this, acquire all the skill, develop yourself, get all the certification. You, you see, you have to be ready. Then your time will now come. And another expert said, every time opportunity and preparation comes together, success is inevitable. Don't let it, they now say next. You now say, please give me one, five more minutes. Time will not wait. Next, if you don't get on that stage, somebody else will get on the stage. And if you get on the stage unprepared, you miss that chance. You miss your chance. Yeah. I wish, I, I, I see somebody so at the verge of a major miracle, a major breakthrough. Somebody is here, you are at the verge of a major breakthrough. You'll be ready. You'll be ready. You'll be fit. You'll miss your time. You'll miss your opportunity. you miss your chance. I'd like you to turn it to prayer and say, Father, prepare me for the place. Turn it to prayer. Prepare me for the place. I know you are preparing a place for me. I know it's my responsibility to be prepared for the place. I receive grace to be prepared for the place you are preparing for me. Prepare me for the place you are preparing for me. Pray it. We have a few minutes to do this prayer. Father, prepare me for that place you are preparing for me. Physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, spiritually, academically. Prepare me for, socially, prepare me for the place that you are preparing for me. Prepare me, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Stretch your hands, your two hands towards this altar. All eyes are closed, all legs are bowed. As you pray this final prayer, I command the grace on this mountain, the grace on this altar, the grace of God on this, on this commission, on this ministry, to ooze out into your spirit and envelop you for preparation. I prophesy an impartation of grace to be ready for what God has made ready for you. The top is your place. You will miss the top. Some of you are going to build one of the biggest production companies, school. Some of you are going to build churches and build uh, uh, organizations uh, that will be multi multi-million organizations. Some of you are going to have a fashion uh, industry that will be global. It will be global. It will be supplying Asia, Australia, Europe, America. In the name of Jesus, you miss the place. Yeah. Open your eyes. You see, Brother Larry did not share some things with you. He has been, the last six months, he has been to US three times with all expense paid for. Because they want him to come and cover event. He covers wedding in Lebanon, in Mauritius, in UK, in Dubai, and he's just eight years old in that business. You know why? He's not using a 16th century camera. Is that the, the tools and the skill? They, that's what they want. You are saying, God, open the global market. What you will do that we open the global market? Receive it now. Amen. You know, you are not saying amen to that prayer. Amen. Stretch your two hands here. I prophesy an hunger, a desperation amen. that produces results in your life. Amen. I command in your spirit a hunger, a thirst that will be a driving force. Amen. I will give you speed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and I declare. You are not a local champion. Amen. You are a global champion. Amen. So the preparation that will put you at the, at the global front. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 
Whatever you are doing right now, I declare, if it is local, it will become global. The grace to manage global, receive it now. You are not saying amen. Amen. I command an anointing that will provoke your spirit and drive your spirit forward in the name of Jesus. Some of you within the next 90 days, 90 days, the place you find yourself, you'll be 10 times better than what you are now. I decree and I declare in the name that is above every name, kings will sort for you. Kings and queens will look for you. When the king wanted somebody to play instrument for him in 1 Samuel 16, he said, get me somebody who can play well. Not somebody who is still experimenting. Go and read 1 Samuel 16. Get me someone. So they now recommended David. He said, he can play well. I prophesy, you will do it well. Stretch your two ten fingers up. God is anointing your hands for witty inventions. For divine creativity. For witty inventions. For divine creativity. Whatever you touch after today. In the name that is above every name. It will be supernatural. People will ask you. How did you get this? How did you do this? How are you doing it? God will give you wisdom for witty inventions. He will teach your fingers for battle. It will teach your fingers to win. So shall it be. In that cooperation, in that organization, you are going to the top. Your skill will pave way for you to the top. Your gift will make room for you. So shall it be. In Jesus' precious name we pray.